Hi, this is Dustin from Great Max. One of the questions we sometimes get asked is, um, people's rainbow head won't start. You could be vacuuming one day and it works fine, and then the next day the head won't start. So we're going to go over a couple tips for you to make sure that your head is working properly. And um, the first thing to do is make sure that the head is getting electricity. So today we're using the SE model, but this will work. These same principles work with any of the models. So the first thing you're going to do is make sure the two-prong cord is firmly hooked into the canister so the hose is getting electricity. The second thing you're going to want to do is make sure the head, the hose is connected to the head and this two-prong cord is firmly in place as well. Now, if you were to turn on the vacuum cleaner at this point, you should see this red indicator light light up. Okay? And what that means is the head is successfully getting power. It's coming all the way through and it's getting power. If it still doesn't come on, the next thing you want to do is press and hold, firmly press the red reset button. And for example, if you were to vacuum up a sock or something, it might trip the reset switch so you don't burn out your motor. And so um, you will want to press the red reset button. And in most cases, that will come on. Now, if the light is on and you've pressed the red reset and it still doesn't work, the next step, make sure your vacuum cleaner is unplugged at this point and remove these two screws. This bottom plate will then come off. And to check for, there's a couple things you want to check for. One, look for any loose wires that may have somehow become disconnected. And two, make sure that your belt is firmly attached and that the brush roll is spinning. Now, what happens if the red light on the power head is not on while all this is hooked up? Well, there's two things to check. Some models, like our newer models over here, have a trigger on the hose to where the head will only turn on when you hold down the trigger. And so if, you're, if you have one of those newer models and you're doing that and it's still not coming on, then we know that the head isn't getting electricity. At that point, what I like to check is I remove the cords, the hose, and bypass the hose. And then I take the head and plug it directly into the canister. Then if it begins to run, then we know the problem is in the hose, that somehow maybe the hose may have, uh, a short may have been caused. And so um, usually it never goes to that point. Usually you just make sure it's hooked up and all the connections are in place. You have pressed the red reset button and it works great. Um, at Great Vax, we've serviced and rebuilt thousands of rainbow vacuums. We sell all the models. So if you have any other questions, please email us at service at greatvax.com.